Right, Sandra, it's um, off, off home in the Noddy car with a car full of cardboard box, a car full of cardboard boxes. Right, it's going to be a bit of a strange start to a vlog because it's going to look like it's the morning, but it's not. It's the night. Uh, sun's up there, not far from going down, or an hour or so before it goes down. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my camera there and I've got a chilled iced about there Guinness glass and then a traditional pint of Guinness that's ice cold with a widget oh, look 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 and I'm going to see whether this is as good as the infusion Guinness with a little um A USB pourer type thing and put that there for a moment and what I'm going to do I'm going to let that settle and I'm going to have a little drinky and see what it tastes like and see if I can make a comparison to the other one Right, so I'd say, to be honest, the head on this, and then the camera's going to pick this up, is better than the infusion. And, yeah, it's got a bit more CO2. It's, it's, slight, it's slightly gassier. Uh, Now what the difference between price is, I don't know, but what I do know is if those infusion um, pour cans, you've got to clean everything out after you've used them and wash everything, and yeah, I think, I think, I think personally, it's a bit of a gimmick. I think a, a good old can with a widget does just, just a good a job. Right, so I'm inside the caravan, she's actually doing some work on her laptop, and she's getting loads of spam emails and she's on um some rosé wine i do believe you got moment. you've got an empty glass you started yeah, top it up for me what top it up with what hang on hang, hang, it says top it up what, what am i topping it up with what is it i think you were given this by someone and you gave it to me i've been chilling it and it's a hot evening that's not, that's not. thank you it's a hot evening just perfect for a nice chilled rosé while I delete my spam. Right, oh. You started drinking very early. Well, but you're on holiday. holiday. Yeah, you're on holiday. I could come and join you if you're being sociable. Well, I'm just uploading um, a video at the moment, so I can't really do anything on my computer. I've got two videos I need to try and edit tonight to do with things. Um, but if you want to come and sit in the garden for half an hour just while it's cooling off at long last isn't it? It is. Yeah. Uh, Unless it's a bit cooler we can take Rasha for a walk. Yeah possibly. Uh, so you were saying with Rasha before she had, had a bit of a, a no move moment wasn't it? Yeah so she was a bit slow going around and then she was licking one of her paws again mm. and then she just flopped down and wouldn't just refuse to move for a wee while. It's terribly hot for old dogs isn't it? Um, it's very very hot. Yeah. It yeah. Just be that. Well, I think she's got a little bit of arthritis in one of her back legs. Right, I will see you in the garden then. I'll, um, yeah, do you want me to save you a table? Thank you. And a chair? Maybe my chocolate's semi unmelted by now as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so some, somebody the other day bought Sandra, who I forget, who, you know, I'm rubbish on name, bought Sandra a box of heroes you and. Um, I'm very much appreciating because I don't get chocolate often, so happen. When it's cooled down enough, it starts to not be as. Squishy. It's Sandra's birthday soon, isn't it, Sandra? What do you want for your birthday? Um, can't really say. Can't really say. Mm. Why not? Oh, that's good. I don't have to buy her anything because she can't tell me what she wants for her birthday. So that's the result for me. That's, that's frugal Neil. Right, I'm going to sit in the, sit in the beer garden. I don't, why am I whispering? I have got dozens and dozens of honeybees on it. I mean. Can you see them all? Look at them all. Absolutely fantastic. This is nature doing what nature does best. Look. Mm. 
these aren't in full um full flower but yeah look at all them bees on that that's uh yeah sandra's missed that unbelievable pretty the birds and the bees oh there goes my phone we'll try again shall we yeah uh, really weird every time i try to video my phone always starts right so on saturday um and those that followed my vlogs will know that i don't tend to power up any machinery on a saturday we keep the site nice and quiet because obviously we've got, just got people here for the weekend and um sandra is busy packing her belongings it's her go home day um yeah it's a week well it's been just short of a week six days has gone by so so incredibly fast all right let's get the days pro properly started now it's uh yeah Phone calls literally on the stroke of nine o'clock. Ordered some bags of lavender. So even Sandra didn't know this. I've no idea how this popped up on my timeline. So this time of year, out in the countryside, with all the muck spreading and the such, there's um, we get a lot of flies, blue bottle fly flies, and people we're spraying fly killer. And we've got a couple of um, fly papers in our awning, but apparently flies hate the smell of lavender. So I've just ordered some bags of lavender that I can hang up in the awning, hang up in the caravan, uh, as well as the nice smell. Because um, you, you can obviously you get the bags of lavender, but you order it, don't you? But apparently flies don't like the smell of lavender and it keeps them away. The jury is out, but I've ordered some bags which will be here uh, here next week on that one. And um, yeah, have you, uh, have you ever used lavender? as a fly deterrent because i'd never heard of this absolutely never heard of it and sandra hadn't right, sandra, either it's um off, off home in the noddy car with a car full of cardboard box a car full of cardboard boxes yeah. it's amazing yeah. what you can fit in this there you go <laughs> yeah i know because i've got one we've got his and hers matching cars i'll give you kids and uh say travels back and uh be well, up for your birthday back. next isn't it should be. how many times are you telling people it's your birthday <laughs> Well, I don't normally get time off around my birthday, so yeah, yeah. it's a really chilled week, hopefully. You got new wheel trims on your car? Well, yeah, new-ish, but not that new. A little different. Right, I'm uh, in the process of doing the loose, and I've got one pitch to quickly mow. They've been on it for just over a week, and I've got somebody else on it for a week. So I'll uh, lift the barrier up for you and okay. bid you a fun farewell. So I want to say goodbye to everybody. Uh, goodbye for now. Um, if you're coming to stay soon, I hope you enjoy it. I've had a lovely time this week and uh, speak soon. Sandra left a bag outside the caravan with, your hair with my hair clippers. Once upon a time, Sandra drove off to work, got to the bottom of the road, and she nominates a cup of coffee. And where's my cup of coffee? Where was the cup of coffee, Sandra? Amazing, we're still on the roof of the car. We're still on the roof of the car. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't fall off. Right, we try again. I need to go and do me. I need to go and do me lose. Right, see you. All right. See you later. So that was just a very quick 15 minutes um, mowing a pitch. We'd had somebody on there just so for just over a week, and I've got somebody coming onto it for just, uh, for a week as well. So um, obviously, when people are on pitches, we tend to try and keep away the best that we can uh, on main mow day. Obviously, we we do try our best, but obviously that's now done and dusted. Uh, Sandra's gone home and. Um, Oh, it's all going to be quiet, isn't it? It's going to be a bit weird. Back on my own after a week of Sandra. Right, a little bit off topic, but if you out there watching this now are a actual campsite warden and you've had a bit of a bad experience where you've been employed. So people will know my story, working at Haven, absolute nightmare, and end up at the nursery. It's a fantastic job. I've had a few people get in touch with me um, about doing a vlog about bad uh, employers, like really bad employers that have taken advantage out of people. If you've got any stories to tell, please contact me. My email address is down there below in the description. Um, anything you send to me will be completely anonymous, but let me be a spokesperson for some of you guys out there who have, by all accounts, had the mickey taken out of you in quite a in quite an epic way um this has been going on for obviously a long time a few years but i think this year for some reason 
um, a lot of a lot of ca- new campsite wardens have taken on roles, and things just haven't worked out. The job description has been nothing like the actual job that people have been doing. So, if you out there have got a story to tell, please let me know. Completely or not, I will do it completely anonymously. Um, there's a link down there below to a Facebook group I've got for campsite wardens uh, or want to be campsite wardens people are interested there is a a new thread on there that I've started Um, I got banned from a Facebook group for trying to support a campsite warden that had been slayed in the work that they were doing that won't happen on this Facebook group but if you've got any stories to tell or anything like that please do get in touch right I think I'm going to come and give this, as you've seen me do numerous times, um, a quick mow. Uh, It's not too long to be fair, but I'm going to fly over on the Steger and give it a a cut lower than what I generally do. We have a strange day today. Apparently we've got like thunderstorms going to come in tomorrow and lightning and everything. Uh, But grey, still nice and Talking to somebody before, do you remember all the rain we had at the beginning of the season when literally we had to decommission pitches? And I don't think it's really rained since. Uh, so, watering cans, um, May before we had any uh, uh, significant rain, we had a couple of sort of random showers, but no uh, significant rain. Anyway, I'm just doing the planters. And then I'm going to put the um, sprinkler on again. And apparently, there's two counties have got hose pipe bands. Right, so that's spray it on for a wee while, and then we'll swap it over and lob it at the back of here, making sure it's doing the job that it needs to do, which it is. Um, Put my timer on my watch. So I remember to turn it off. Right, just waiting for this afternoon's final check-in. Should be here in 40 minutes, 45 minutes by four o'clock. And we're not meant to be getting any rain of thunder or lightning until tomorrow. It started raining. Um, yeah, which is quite nice because it's a little bit fresher so uh just come to say hello to my partner in crime a russia and at this point i'm going to wrap today's video off here and wish you all best wishes and be well everybody mm-hmm.